New York, New York. The town's so nice they named it twice. Let's go back to the videotape. Uh, we're going to do another video just to finish up some of the uh, specification here. So if you recall when uh, last we met, uh, we had this Firebase Auth project. We had some sign-in methods. Actually, we had one sign-in method, and that was the email password. And you don't have to do this email link. And if you read the directions about it, it's confusing. And so don't read the directions about it. Save those brain cells for something else. So we have the sign-in method. We don't need to deal with templates and usage. We go to users, and we want to add a user. Um, in real life, you sign up for... Um, a service and you give them a real uh, password and then they send you uh, an email and you know that that's like the real way to do things we're, we're not real or fake and so we are going to add a fake account fake at example.com and the password is one two three four five six you need to add a user with exactly this email and this password Obviously, never use this password in any real life project or real life life. So you, um, we've added this, so now we actually have a user here in in this project that that our um, uh, Firebase knows about. All right, we're doing authentication, um, and it's uh, an email user, and uh, this is when it was created. And this UID, we don't really care about. Okay, so we have our uh, user. Now we are going to build our project and run it. And you're going to see what's going on there. Although I think the first thing, first thing I want to do, um, let's move this phone over. And you can see that, you can see that in the Gradle file, I have these uh, Firebase uh, uh, dependencies, and that's uh, a little slightly different from what we saw in the last video. I had I added this Firebase UI thing, and I added this auth thing, and that's that's a little bit of sleuthing that I just had to do, and so wanted to save you that agita. So anyway, if you go to your this is your module uh, build Gradle, uh, just um, here. So your module build Gradle. These are the the lines I'm talking about. The rest of the stuff should have been put in here by uh, Android Studio when you created the file. And then we put this guy in here, the supply plugin, and I mean that was already there. Um, yeah, I mean we put something in here. We put this Google services in here. Okay, so make sure you have these Firebase lines. Super important. Now let's let's uh, okay. Well, yeah, let's move the phone, um, make it more visible. Go back here, I'll run our projecto. Okay, and you saw sort of the layout, and we specify the layout in the handout. Um, we're going to get to that in a second. But now it's it's telling me to just sign in because that's when you start up. You just call Firebase UI. This is Firebase UI. You are not going to have this layout anywhere, uh, but it's pretty sweet. So fake at example.com. That's our email. And this next button, uh, Firebase UI does all the stuff uh, automatically and all the stuff, which is great. Oh, yeah, I know fake at example.com. Is your password one, two, three, four, five, six? Why, yes, it is. Do you have this super cool, like, reveal the password icon over here in the corner? Yes. Did you write code to do that? No, you didn't have to because Firebase UI is on your side. So that's cool. Um, no trouble signing in. We don't need that. Okay, let's sign in. All right, so now we're back to our layout, and I specify this layout. You're going to have to build this. Uh, we're keeping this, this text is the... Um, welcome hello world text it's in the center whatever i mean i just let's just leave it and it should show the user's display name and it should show the email and oh look the user's display name is not so good so when we created that user at the console it didn't create a display name and in fact there is no um, interface to create a display name at the console so we actually have to write code to do that so what we're going to do is we're going to hook up i'm not going to show you this part obviously he's got to write it 
first of all, you got to, you got to do this little layout job, which, you know, this edit text goes all the way up to the button and the button is all the way uh, up here. I mean, there's a little bit of padding that I think is the default or margin that is the default, but you know, you should know how to do this. Um, and this is going to set our display name. So, um, uh, oh gosh, oh, really? Uh, try to do a gender neutral name. So set our display name and then, oh my gosh, look, it, it updated. And if you note, it took, it took a, a second. And the reason it took a second is because when I hit this button, the callback grabbed the text that was in here. It created sort of a structure and it updated it uh, in the uh, in the cloud, and only after the cloud update was okay did we get a callback and then redisplay this. And let's see if we can. Uh, this is a little shouldn't have uh, should should have planned this, but I think no. Do, do we get to see the updated display name in the console? Maybe we don't. Fake. Well, it says it's signed in. No, I guess not. Okay. Well, that's that. That's sad. So we don't we don't get to see the. Uh, we, not, not only is there no interface to set it in the console, but we we can't even see it. But we can see it in our app, and um, that is uh, that. That's the whole shebang there. And I don't really care about. Um, checking. I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, this is blank. Just set it to be blank. You, know, you, you get the idea. So, but this is, you know, user on one line, uh, email on the next line with colons and uh, this button hooked up to set the display name of the user um, and make sure that it actually is set uh, in, in Firebase, not just set here. I mean, setting it here is sort of easy. Um, the point is to set it on Firebase. We'll, we'll check that your code does that. Okie doke. Happy hacking.